Spanish grammar for advanced students, the conditional perfect. Let's start with examples of phrases using the conditional and the conditional perfect. Number one, conditional. Yo leería este libro. I would read this book. Number two, conditional perfect. Yo habría leído este libro. I would have read this book. If you use the verb poder in Spanish, you can use could in English. Examples. Number three, conditional. Yo podría leer este libro. I could read this book, expressing a current capability. However, if you are talking about the past, you should use the imperfect preterite, usually called just imperfect. Number four, imperfect. Yo podía leer este libro. I could read this book. I was able to read this book. Number five. Conditional perfect. Two ways in Spanish. A. Yo podría haber leído este libro. I could have read this book. B. Yo habría podido leer este libro. I would have been able to read this book. The Spanish word order in A is similar to the English word order. The Spanish word order in B is similar to the French word order. Depending on the context, you can use might instead of could, but you can still use poder conjugated according to the subject in Spanish. Example, number six, conditional. Yo podría leer este libro. I might read this book, expressing a possibility. So, we use the conditional to express a current or future possibility. We use the conditional perfect to express a possibility in the past, something that didn't happen. If we have an expression with two clauses and one of the clauses begins with C, if in English, we can have for the conditional, the clause beginning with C is the condition and the verb is conjugated in the imperfect subjunctive. The other clause represents the possible output to the condition and the verb is conjugated in the conditional. Example number seven. Si yo fuera a la fiesta, no tendría suficiente tiempo de estudiar para el examen. If I went to the party, I couldn't have enough time to study for the exam. Si yo fuera a la fiesta, is the condition. Fuera is in the imperfect subjunctive. No tendría suficiente tiempo de estudiar para el examen. Is the possible output to the condition. Tendría is in the conditional. You can change the order of the classes, no problem. No tendría suficiente tiempo de estudiar para el examen si yo fuera a la fiesta. For the conditional perfect, the class beginning with C is the condition and the verb is conjugated in the pluperfect subjunctive. The other class represents the possible output to the condition and the verb is conjugated in the conditional perfect. 
Example number eight. Si yo hubiera ido a la fiesta, no habría tenido suficiente tiempo de estudiar para el examen. If I had gone to the party, I wouldn't have had enough time to study for the exam. Si yo hubiera ido a la fiesta, is the condition. Hubiera ido is in the pluperfect subjunctive. No habría tenido suficiente tiempo de estudiar para el examen. Is the possible output to the condition. Habría tenido is in the conditional perfect. This represents something that didn't happen. I didn't go to the party. You can always change the order of the classes. Let's see variations with the conditional perfect using affirmative and negative sentences. First, both classes are affirmative. Number nine, si hubiera tenido el dinero, habría comprado el auto. If I had the money, I would have bought the car. Output, I didn't buy the car because I didn't have the money. Second, both classes are negative. Number 10, si no hubiera tenido el dinero, no habría comprado el auto. If I hadn't had the money, I wouldn't have bought the car. Output, since I had the money, I bought the car. Third, the condition is a negative sentence and the possible output is an affirmative sentence. Number 11. Si no hubiera visto a mi amiga, habría ido a la reunión. If I hadn't seen my friend, I would have gone to the meeting. Output. Since I saw my friend, I didn't go to the meeting. Fourth. The condition is an affirmative sentence and the possible output is a negative sentence. Number 12, si hubiera visto a mi amiga, no habría ido a la reunión. If I had seen my friend, I couldn't have gone to the meeting. Output, I went to the meeting because I didn't see my friend. Okay. That's all for today.